Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pass the Act show today. So, us bikers, we gotta work, man. We gotta work. So, I'm gonna talk about a new plan I want for this channel. Maybe it'll happen, maybe not. All depends on my script. Excuse me. All my subscribers. So, without further ado, let's tune in to the Passiac Ashore. So, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make videos like this. You know, I'm not quite sure, but the reason why I want to talk about this is because we are now probably going to be doing like biking videos, like Q&A, what you should do for this, what you should do for that. So if you guys really want to know what it's like behind biking, let me guys know. Let me know. But first, we forgot to do one thing. Hang on. First three a day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't pushed notifications, please do. And finally. Ooh, let's tune in today. Let's tune in today. Let's tune in today. How you guys doing? So, it's once again a quick flex with an exit ticket. So, let's go ahead and let's talk about it. So, uh, yes. Tristan, bro, you don't need to tell us a story. You don't need to tell us a story. What? I do need to tell a story. Are you telling me you don't want to tune in? How about I just tune in? How about that? Hm? Okay, bro. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Bruh. No, 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 no. No one has to hear what you say, bruh. No one has to hear. No one has to hear what you say. Bro! Well, you know what? It's time. For something a little bit unusual. For this, uh, pain in the butt. Stand by. So, back in the Holocaust, the exit ticket. I have this little spear. It's right behind, it's right behind my, my, my big gigantic speaker. So what this well spear does is when they're hunting blubber, I have it with me. Because I used to be a Marine. But now, when I see the other side, when I see my crush, they go... I go, they go, oh no, not the whale spear. I go, yes, the whale spear. Then I take my crush all around the house. And then, and then that's when they crawl up in the tree. Then that's when I'm arrested. What? Too much? Huh. Yes, this is my German hat. That's why. I mean, bro, like, bro, that's just crazy. That's just crazy, big man. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't gonna do that to me. You ain't gonna do that to me, bruh. You ain't gonna do that to me. You ain't gonna do that to me. You ain't gonna do that to me, bruh. Nah. Nah. Well, along all joking aside, it's no wonder why I fell in my class. Because you don't, because you don't use study guides. You don't do your exit tickets. 
You sit there on your phone and talk to your uh, dreaded friend. Which I, actually, which I actually like. So, with that out of the way, it's now time for the lecture. So, what I do when I bike is I do lots of things. There's so many things that you have to know. And many things you have to know. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want people to know questions. And if you do have a question, then you can speak with me about it. Otherwise, that's the questions. And there's some people who wonder, why? What do we need to do? Now, I went a little later in the evening because it's less crowded and it's a lot safer. Believe it or not, safer. Less crowded means safer. Because I have had enough with people running out in front of me. So the only thing I have to worry about is cars. Because this one time, which actually happened on, I think it was Sunday, I think. Sunday or Saturday. I was, I was going down in the estates area. And I was riding my bike. And there was this guy that was in front of me on another bicycle. He went and he turned down the bike route. I, however, stopped at a stop sign waiting for a couple cars to pass. Next thing you know, I see some big, gigantic, lifted, um, lifted uh, Nissan Titan. And it's like, it's about like 6'5 at the, where the window is. Because I'm 6'2 on that bike. And that thing was actually, and that thing was higher than me. So I see someone, a big old muscle tattooed guy with a, without a shirt on, and the other guy is wearing a tank top. He has his sunglasses on, and he looks out the window at me as I go by, and he's like. So then, I made my right turn, and the truck goes in the lane, and almost hits the guy on the bike, and he gets back over out of that lane. So then, after that, I find there's something strange. When the pickup truck pulls over on the side of the road. And after that, what I had to do was I made a good call. And I went over the median and turned around. Yes, I drove over the median. Because, luckily, I have a bike that's four-wheel drive, and it's just a pie. Now, if I was in a regular small car, I think I'd lose my bumper, and I would not be able to get over. So, since because of that, I simply darted out of there. I, I, I whipped around, and I got out of there. Because who knows what those men were going to do? They're probably going to rob me. You know what I mean? Like, they just got out as soon as they pulled over. No flashers, no nothing. Just got out and pulled over. So I went over the median, and I got out of there. So, the say, it is dangerous going over there because I have to go across the road. There's no shoulder, so you have to stay on the line. Otherwise, I have to go in the grass, wait for a car to pass, and get back over, and boom, darn it. It's scary because what cars have to do is they have to go over the other lane, then get back over. It's dangerous. So then I make it just fine. Everything goes well. Chill this. And then the same day I had a car pull right out in front of me. Like, I, I wish I had on video so I could show you guys. But this car pulls right out in front of me. I mean directly out in front of me. I mean, like, it was so close that I was about to T-bone this car. It was a Honda Accord. And just pulled right out in front of me. And you know what I did? I laid on my horn at... 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning. I laid on my horn and I blew it for a very long time. And all the, and all the guy did was this. That's all he did. Nothing. That just shows that there are a lot of a-hole drivers out there. And that's how it is. There is a lot of a-hole drivers. And that's honestly what it is. There is a lot of a-hole drivers that you cannot go anywhere without getting cut off or getting into an accident. Seriously. Like, in my city, we have the highest car accident rate. 
because people don't know how to drive. And I think part of it is the driver's education. Because when I took driver's education, they did not really teach you all that lot. They taught you the basic rules. You need to learn how to drive a car in situations such as traffic jams. Okay, if you're driving down the highway and traffic's stopping and uh, braking and you're riding the brakes, you gotta know what to do. Because if you're going down left lane and all of a sudden it slams on the brakes, guess what? If the person behind you not paying attention, then you'll get rear-ended and you'll go right in the front of the other car. So always keep an eye out for that. And drivers, like they like to drive in the left lane, going slow. So that's a, that, that is a frustration. But however, is that these newer drivers, they need to know how to drive. You know, or else they're going to find themselves stuck in a car because they got into a wreck and they can't get out. And if you get into a crash on the highway, it's never good. Never. Like, your car might be actually totaled. And, you know, with these semi-trucks, if you get rear-ended, it's way worse. Let me give you advice. You don't want to be driving a smart car or a gremlin. Just keep that in mind. Also, when you're driving, you have to know what to do. Don't be texting your phone. Okay? Because what people do is they just cut you right off. And people, they lay on their horn at you, just like I did to that Honda Accord. I laid on my horn. And the dude did, was like, didn't even, give a, didn't even give a crap. When he could have been into an accident. He could have caused an accident. But however, I did not slam on the brakes because I just didn't feel like I needed to slam on the brakes. You know what I mean? Because people, they just... The thing about people is they just pull directly out from it. I don't know what it is about drivers here, but for, they, but they just don't know what... They, they just don't understand. Because, like, if you see someone coming down the road, okay, they're coming down, and you just pull right out in front of them. Instead of waiting for it to be clear. But no. You have to be stupid, and you have to cut people off. It's ridiculous. And the term cut off can mean many different things. And that, I don't even think of that term. It's just, it's not very surprising. If you're going to be driving out in the roads, and this goes for people that are going to get their permit, always remember that it's not you you have to worry about, it's everyone else. Because guess what? You may find yourself in a situation where you're going to have to call the police because you got into a wreck. It's, a, and it's sad. You know what I mean? Like, you get a brand new car and it's already in an accident within like, a, within like a, a couple months. It might be your fault, might not be your fault. But I can tell you as a biker, it's way more important that bikers do not get into an accident at all. The reason why is because they do not have very good protection. Bikers still, bikes still today don't have very good protection. They don't have any things that will stop a car hood from going right into your, right into your rib. Like, you're going to die if they hit you at a certain speed. You know what I mean? Like, the road I have to cross is 45 miles an hour. 40, 40 or 45 miles an hour. So that's a high speed for me. You mean, like, I can't go that fast. So I have to make sure that I'm checking my mirror to make sure a car isn't going to hit me from behind. And, you know, although my bike is, like, three years old... It still hasn't gotten any safer. You still got to wear a helmet. You still got to have your lights and whatnot. Even with that stuff. You know, I am I have a yellow vest that I wear. And I have lights. And I have everything. But people still don't see me. It's either they don't care or they don't see me. And what's weird is, they have to do it right in front of you. Like, like you couldn't wait before you started backing out. You couldn't wait before you had to move on the side of the street right in front of me. Or, you know, like, you had to pull out in front of me. Like, I don't stand that. I really don't understand. Like, I just wonder how people got their driver's license. Because, like, I just wonder how people got their license. Because, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to drive like that, then you're going to have high insurance rates. And, and, and that's how it is. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are. It just depends how well you can drive. You could be 40 years old and be a terrible driver. Be a soccer mom. 
cutting everyone off. You know what I mean? Like, that's a stereotype. But I can tell you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I hear it from truck drivers. They complain about the same thing because drivers, they don't take as much precaution as truck drivers do or motorcyclists or bicyclists or commercial drivers. Okay, all they do is just drive their car. Simple as that. They don't have to take no commercial driver's license. They don't have to get trained to back up a trailer into a dock or drive a school bus with many kids on it and back up that when turning around. Or they don't know what it's like to have drivers fail to stop for their stop signs. Oh, yes, it does happen here in Virginia Beach. It happens so many times. I've, I've witnessed it. Because about every school year, there's at least one bus, there's at least one driver that blows the lights. Probably about once a week, probably, yeah. Now on my new, now on the new bus we got, it's a newer bus, but it, I, I, I don't understand it. I guess it's the freight liners that mainly deal with the issue, because I've not seen any Thomas C2s really deal with that issue that much. Like really with the Thomas, C2, with the Thomas C2s, they don't really, they don't really go through that that much, but... FS sixty fives they do because every single FS sixty five I've ridden on, I I don't understand if it's have lights flashing or whatever, but it but trust me it's 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 difficult, but anyway getting back to what I was saying about biking you know what I mean like if you guys just want if you guys just want to know what it's like to be a biker and what it's like to 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 understand what happens because there are some things you have to do it's not like driving a car. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to use precaution. And, like, like, I've been biking for about 11 years now. Yeah, 11 years I've been biking. 11 years. And I can tell you this. It's not, it's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but I keep track of my mistakes. Because I do make mistakes. I'm, I make a lot of mistakes sometimes. Sometimes I make mistakes. We all do. Sometimes I pull out in front of someone. Sometimes I don't yield to something. And I can tell you that has happened to me before where it has affected others and others have to get in front of me about it. Because one time I was, I was going on my bike and I was impatient because I just didn't feel like dealing with, dealing with this. And there was a driver that was trying to do, do a three point turn up in his driveway or something. And I squeezed in between him. And he got upset and he came around the block and had stopped me and said, Hey, did you not see me there? Yeah, it, it happens. It really does happen. Like, I know it's not all driver's fault. It's partially people's fault. You know what I mean? It, it, it just depends. You know what I mean? Like, it all depends. Like, you know, if you're someone that likes to commit road rage, which I don't necessarily recommend, I don't recommend that you do... Um, I don't recommend that you get into a road rage incident because it's not very good. I can tell you I've had dealt with a couple road rage incidents before, but it hasn't gotten that severe. You know what I mean? Like, like I can tell you, like sometimes it happens. Sometimes people will be in a, a, a douchebag. Really? Sometimes or sometimes people do are being a douchebag. Because there's one time where someone thought they had the right of way and they didn't, and they blame me for it, and I'm and, and I'm getting all mad. I, I I can tell you one thing, you know what I mean? You have to be considerate. Be considerate. If you be considerate for me, then I'll be considerate for you. That's how it works. If you're not considerate for me, then I'll be considerate for you. It all depends on reputation, folks. It all depends on reputation. Like if you're someone who waves at me then that's good, then you got good reputation with me. If you're someone who doesn't wave at me and you just stare at me, then that's a bad reputation. And I can tell you, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it all depends on how you are. And I can tell you, like, I've dealt with it. I've dealt with it before. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm not in a good mood and I do something and I get, and, I, and someone gets upset because I'm not in a good mood. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes, I, sometimes I'm not in a good mood some days when I'm biking or, or just in general. Like, I'm a different person on the bike 
because I'm kind of more strict towards safety. You know what I mean? Like, I see kids riding their bikes without helmets. You know what I mean? Like, that's a problem. They'll want them to learn. They'll learn. They will learn someday. And I can't blame them. I mean, like, if, like if they want to get their head run over, then they can do that. Like, it's all up to you. It's all up to you of what you make it. If you decide, well, I'm just going to not pay attention. I mean, it's up to you. Okay, guys, so not to really give you like a full 15-minute lecture, all I'm just saying is just let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a Q&A about it and kind of talk about this kind of stuff because, you know what I mean, like, I kind of want to talk about this stuff with you guys because, like, I don't really have a chance to make so many YouTube videos because I'm so busy. Like, there is a YouTube video I was going to make about, um, about bullying I've been doing with that I've been dealing with somebody and also I might be in a relationship with somebody. That was something I was gonna make a video about but I didn't even get around to it. But it's just thank you guys for watching and make sure that you like and that you comment and you subscribe. So with that there is an exit ticket. So let's exit the so let's exit the Wayback Machine. Which we're not using the Wayback Machine today. So on school or Google is the place for you. That's where we get our history. So, on School of Google, there is a, if you're going to, da if you're going to Daily Line Targets, you'll see that there is an assignment in Schoology. It's very important that you do it. So, make sure you guys do that. It's an, it's an exit ticket. Those are people, then, then you can relax. Now that you understand, Bro, I was like, bro, that was like the longest left drive here. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I swear, he gets on my nerves. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.